Hey everyone, I'm ExitSign250, and in this video I'll be overviewing and discharging this Kitta Pro 2.5 pound BC fire extinguisher. This extinguisher is a part of Kitta's Pro line of commercial fire extinguishers. This one is brand new and was manufactured in 2021. I've never really been a fan of Kitta fire extinguisher products since they are cheaply built and some models have had multiple recalls in the past for failing to discharge, parts breaking, or even exploding. Nowadays though, Kitta appears to be only making fire extinguishers fully out of metal compared to older models having plastic parts. I like seeing this and I do trust some of their models now. This particular extinguisher is also fully metal. It does feel cheap, however. Let's take a closer look at the valve assembly. The handle is very shaky, the metal is thin and it feels like it could break easily. The gauge looks good and so does the pin and tamper seal. I like how the tamper seal has written instructions about pulling the pin. Moving on to the cylinder, it is constructed out of an aluminum, which is weaker than most other extinguisher brands that use steel. For the specs, the extinguisher is rated to put out class B and C fires, those being flammable liquids and energized electrical equipment. The classification for this extinguisher is 10 BC, meaning it can extinguish a 10 square feet fire. The agent is regular dry chemical, which is similar to baking soda. The advantage of BC regular chemical fire extinguishers is that the agent will not corrode surfaces, unlike ABC dry chemical that will, but the obvious disadvantage is it cannot extinguish class A fires. With this extinguisher overviewed, let's test it on a real fire. Here we are in my driveway with the test setup. I have two 15 inch diameter pans that will have gasoline poured in them to make a class B fire. Now let's light the fire and extinguish it. As you saw, the Kitta Pro was able to control and extinguish the fire. The extinguisher operation was good, the lever was easily squeezed, and the extinguisher was able to stop discharging when released. The reason I mention that is I've had problems with previous Kitta models with this same valve not being able to stop discharging when it was released. Not really ideal when you need the extinguisher to stop spraying. The agent smothered the fire fully, and it was pretty easy to clean up. Now with the extinguisher discharged, let's check out the internals as those are just as important. Unscrewing the valve assembly, we have a plastic siphon tube. It would be better to see a metal siphon tube though. Unscrewing the tube, the spring and valve are released. The spring is decent, it seems to be better compared to previous Kitta models. And the valve looks good also. Inside of the cylinder seems fine. We just did a complete overview and test of the Kitta Pro 2.5 pound BC regular chemical fire extinguisher. On a rating scale of 1 being the worst and 10 being the best extinguisher, I would give this a 5 out of 10. Although it's not my favorite, it is a decent fire extinguisher. For some reason, I can't find anywhere that sells the 2.5 pound BC model, only the 2.5 pound ABC model, and they sell anywhere from $30 to $45. I personally wouldn't pay anywhere over $30 for one. I feel this extinguisher would be good for a home, but I wouldn't have it in a commercial setting. That's all I have for this extinguisher overview video. Let me know what you think of this Kitta Pro and if you would buy one. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.